Hello everyone, we are back to do our second drive. As you could tell, if you watched my first one, it did pretty darn well, didn't it? Um, so we're gonna see how well it does on this one. You can see our arrow uh, shifting. It can like tell as the car moves, like it keeps an object in space. That seems new. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but that seems new that it's doing that. Um, unfortunately, it still has the map data wrong for this parking lot. Again, it doesn't, it can see the arrow as it won't, points the arrow that way, but it doesn't know that the context of the arrow pointing that way means you can only drive that direction. It wants to go back out the other way. Also, it changed my route on me. So we're gonna have to get onto the road here. Oh, it might also be that, that this doesn't connect, and so maybe because that doesn't connect, it only sees one way out based on the map data. So that might be what's causing that. Here we're having to get out here before we can enable it. Because it kind of sometimes will freak out. So what we're looking for at this intersection is that it stays a little bit further left as it lines up in the intersection. It's trying to. It could go still a little bit further left and a little bit further up. But I mean, it's not really an issue. There's no car behind me, as you can tell from right here. There's no cars behind me. So it's not like it's the end of the world what it's doing. Also, it can go. Um, kind of hit pause right there. Maybe it's because the car was still stopping. That was a good turn. Uh, so it stayed 25 mile an hour. Saw that sign. Stayed 25. I'm gonna go ahead and up at the 30 because we're about to go to a 35 just around this corner right here. Again, I still think it should be slowing down sooner for this light right here. Um, maybe that's just a personal preference. I think a lot of people would just zoom up to the light and jam on the brake. That's not efficient and time or brake wise, um, effic like efficiency wise of the car, energy wise. It just, it should slow down a little bit sooner, at least coast into the light, but in that case, you're going down a hill, so you're gonna have to start regening anyway. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting here at the roundabouts. Uh, it's always seemed to be rather hesitant still with the previous versions. There's like one version where it did really well. Um, it's doing the left blinker, which I mean, I guess is, I don't know if that's accurate or not. What I always felt like it stays a little bit too far left, I'm sorry, too far right for my liking right there. Otherwise, I mean, it did well. That was smooth going through that roundabout. So it did well. It's just, there's minor nitpicks for my personal preference. Um, that probably just kind of irrelevant, but as long as it does it smoothly, that's the biggest thing. Sometimes right here, there's a left turn lane that goes into Publix right here, and sometimes it gets confused with that lane as if it's this turn right here, and and it didn't do it this time, which is good. Um, we can, I, I'm not going to call that an improvement yet until I go through this multiple times, um, which we probably won't be able to on this version. It's going too fast here. Okay, so I had to press the accelerator. To keep it going through there, it was going to stop as if it, it, it was a blinking red instead of a blinking yellow. Um, too fast. Oh, actually, let me go ahead and press that snapshot button. Maybe they'll still figure it out. It's it still needs to cross the double yellow. It's just the in the the section it has to get into that turn lane is so small. It just needs to break the rules a little bit and cross the double yellow and get in there a little bit smoother. And it, it had the best opportunity now just because there were no cars there. One thing I want to note also is that we've had essentially no phantom braking. Maybe the slightest bit, but nothing like nothing that would be too noticeable. It's been really solid today uh, in terms of that, and that's that's the biggest thing in terms of like what what gives me like. Um, <laughs> I okay. <laughs> um, you guys saw that. Um, you need a stay car. Yeah, there you go. Okay. 
If it was aggressive, it could have gone right there. I can't really even see some of these blinkers on these cars. I think this car is stopping. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that did really well. And this turned super well. I'm super happy with that. And yeah, this is slowing down. I looked far enough ahead that I realized that car was not moving very fast and it stopped accelerating, which is really good. And you can tell it's slowing down, of course, with the brake lights. I think that's it's definitely using brake lights now to like adjust behavior. If it sees brake lights, then it's gonna start slowing down. Maybe even if it can't tell the car is slowing down. If it sees brake lights, that objectively means the brakes are, the brake pedal is being pressed. Whether or not they're slowing down is a different story. But we can be confident the brake pedals are being pressed. That was a very smooth compound maneuver right there. Still swinging out a little bit far right, but otherwise very good. Like, again, I think that's probably, that was your disengagements, I think. We're gonna just pull in the parking lot here. Are they closed today? Oh, we have 20 minutes. Well, I guess, I think I'll just, uh, pull us around here and re-navigate and uh we don't need to stop here today got here a little bit early i guess i didn't realize how early we were so we are good to proceed okay and so it's dude that's uh well yeah well what I was trying to say is that it's like improved that it didn't go in the parking spaces. However, it still kind of did at the end, but I think that's programmed in to stay a little bit further right when you're taking a uh, right on red or a four-way um, four stop. It, uh, it's programmed to kind of stay more right, even which is fine, actually. I mean, it can, it can do that. I, th I think that's totally acceptable. Um, so at least it stayed out of the parking spaces until it got to the turn. person was driving on the wrong side of the road <laughs> I guess they're out of town so it's pretty fair but the lines are also pretty faded so plus one for full self driving minus one for human pilot <laughs> that was very good we're gonna head in, in that and it's just gonna I'm still trying to stop here I'm gonna tap the accelerator to it tries to stop back here for the stoplight. Uh, it's done that in previous versions. Good. Oh, I was gonna say, it turned the wheel back to the left. It was good that um, it seems to have more steering con Oh. Why don't I you know, navigate it to the end of Main Street? Oh. I think because I don't have a navig- Because I don't have a navigation, it's kind of, it kind of doesn't know where to go. It kind of think, okay, maybe I should turn, maybe I shouldn't. Um, usually you just go keep the sun going straight down this road and it does really well. Um, I mean, I think it's doing really well right now. Oh, ha. Huh. Okay, so let's see what it does when it reaches these people right here. It should turn right. I didn't realize we had a festival going on today. Um, let's see, we need to make it back to here we need to turn right oh we can only turn right oh hit stop for the traffic light oh I guess uh, okay well because I didn't have the navigation in and because it that was a hard situation let's go ahead and press our waypoint here it should have turned right on red right there in realizing it had a blockage, but it didn't. Recording the snapshot there. Also, what's it? Oh no, that's not, that's not right. We just want to just go down here. We're making a pit stop past my mom and her shop. Yep. What was it? 
Okay. Um, it straight up wasn't gonna turn right there. Weird. I, I'm i gonna blame that on the fact I navigated the last second. It, the car just cannot compensate when you navigate last second like that. It just, it can't handle it. Um, we're actually gonna go, we're not even gonna go right here. Uh, so I think that that's, uh, since we can't really do anything full self driving rated on this uh, section, we are gonna call it that, everyone. Um, and call it a video. Um, the next video will be going through Aldi. Uh, we're going to Aldi and then going back home on the highway. Uh, I think it did pretty well. I mean, it had the one primary disengagement and you know, the one secondary because it didn't route quick enough, something like that. Um, which would not have happened. Like, if the route stayed the same, it would have been zero disengagements. I, and if I had a route selected quick enough at that red light, it would have made it. Uh, I think it would have corrected itself. It would have done really well there. I wish I had the opportunity to do that, but the guy was waiting for me to cross the road and do all that type of stuff, so. Um, oh, well, I don't... I need to... Well, I'm going to end it here. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. This guy's committing...